building a minor trap today. Had a piece of three foot quarter inch hardware cloth, about 40 inches long, and then put it together with pig rings. These right here are designed for, to keep a pig from rooting. And what you do is you put that through his nose or all around the outside of his nose, and that's actually gonna keep that pig from root. But they're super good for putting wire together, you know, making chicken cages or whatever, rabbit pens, whatever you gotta do. This right here is probably the fastest way to go with it. You just, normally they have a pair of pliers that fits this perfectly, and it'll pull them together. But with this right here, I'm using a set of channel locks because that's what I've got. But, but I'll show you. Sort of how they're supposed to work anyway. The other ones will actually, they have a groove that this fits in, so they'll, they'll be a lot, they would be a lot easier to use. If you were putting it in a pig, that's as far as you would go. You would just make those connect. I'm gonna pull this a little bit tighter. Yep, and that'll hold that together pretty good right there. Beautiful. So now you see how that's gonna work. You need to get this the same if you wanna keep it the same, so I'm just gonna follow that line all the way across right there. You got the main body of it built right there. You don't see it. Nothing special. Now to stiffen it up, we're gonna put, I'm probably gonna put, the way we built our fish baskets years ago was we would put two cones, you know, put one cone here and then another cone and then the bait in the back. And we would make those ends. I need to build a fish basket one day and just show people how we used to do it. The fish basket would be, you know, six, six feet tall. But it'd have a cone shape right here, and then that way the leaves, you know, that are coming down the river would just coat the end of that right there, and it wouldn't get sanded in. We wouldn't do a flat end on it because it would just put so much pressure on it, it would just start pushing. So that would make like a cone. That cone would just fill up with leaves, and then the water would just go around it like that. But we would fill them up with, uh, fill them up with catfish. Sure did. All right, so I'm gonna put two cones, two cones and then an end. I don't know if I'm gonna make a cone shape for this because it's just a minute basket. It's not gonna be staying out there long. Okay, we get an idea of what to do right there. Getting an idea. A small hole. We ain't trying to catch no huge fish. Two cones, if I could put two cones in there, it is a whole lot more effective, but this is not going to stay out there long, so, you know, you don't have to worry about too many of them getting, you know, coming back through there. Let's give it a shot, see how it works out. All right, we got the cone in the front. Not completely centered, but close. And we got one in the back back here, just a tie of two. And we're gonna cut us a door right here in the top. That way we can flip it open, flip it over and dump the minnows. If it works, we're gonna see. Be able to get everything out from right there and then zip tie it back shut. Maybe. Zip tie there, zip tie there, and zip tie there, clip it, open it up, dump everything out. Alright. Got it 
built. About to go bait it up. Close the door on it, chunk it in the water, and see what happens. All right, got her baited up, took a little piece of screen wire, put the bait in there, which ain't nothing but fish feeds all of this. And then I put a little extra in the bottom right there. You could use dog feed, whatever you got, it don't matter. Let's see what happens. Folks, we said it yesterday afternoon, and we're going to check it out this morning. Got a pile of minnows and some brim in there. Not too bad. There. Look at all them spot tails. Those are perfect bait. Perfect right there. That ain't bad at all. So it worked anyway. That's what we were shooting for. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Appreciate y'all.